Now, Jimmy, I love a uh, I love a microphone on a figure eight. Are we uh, up for doing some bluegrass harmonies? Yeah, well, look, I'm I'm good for it, but I don't think we're going to have much viewership left afterwards. <laughs> so let's no. uh, let's skip that and get straight to the point. Yeah, uh, which is of course today we are talking into the Neumann TLM 107 microphone, which mm. is new from Neumann. Mm-hmm. It's multi pattern, and it's probably uh, the. Well, I think probably the most affordable multi-pattern mic we've ever seen from Neumann. Yeah, yeah, the Neumann brand now coming down to a price point that can probably get it into quite a few project studios where people really care about the mic they're putting up. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, it is a beautiful thing. So um, just talk us through how it works in terms of its uh, pad uh, filter and polar selection. Okay, well, we've got five different polar patterns, essentially. We're running figure eight at the moment, Mm -hmm. and uh, you've got a hypercardioid, omni, cardioid and wide cardioid mm-hmm. as well mm-hmm. uh, and you can switch between those uh, and the switching is actually all electronic so mm. there's a little joystick on the back and when you first plug the mic in turn on phantom power little white leds illuminate to tell you what the current configuration is uh, of the, p- the pattern as well as the pre-attenuation which you can have 0 6 or 12 db mm-hmm. Uh, of attenuation and uh, the high pass filter which you can either bypass roll in at 40 or 100 hertz mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, so the switching is done with this little joystick, and if the mic goes to sleep, you know, which is good, it mm. should, you know, because the lights can be a bit distracting for people. Yeah. So, so it goes to sleep after you've made your selection or after mm. it's been inactive with the switching for a little while. Um, to wake it up, uh, why don't we do this now? Yeah, why okay. don't you press in the, press joystick. the joystick? Now we're in figure eight mode yep. at the moment. So to get us back to say cardioid, mm-hmm. you push up, I think twice or three times. Yep, and we are in cardioid now. Which we are in cardioid you're now. Hearing much of me right now. We're probably not hearing much of you right now. Would you like to contribute for the remainder of the story? I think you should put it back into figure eight mode. Down into figure eight, and there we go. And as you can hear, there's obviously, you know, the expected little bit of handling noise Mm -hmm. of the switch, but we don't get any actual sort of pops or clicks Mm -hmm. of of different parts of the circuit being engaged Mm -hmm. and disengaged. And I think Mm -hmm. that's really cool. Yeah. Um, Look, uh, I took this out to a gig because, uh, let's face it, it... it's a nice microphone and I had a nice <laughs> piano to put it in front of and mm. I, I trusted the people on stage not to uh, mm. stuff it down their trousers and leave the building yeah. uh, and I watched them like a hawk. Okay. Uh, and this this is a brilliant microphone uh, in a live situation. Okay, so what kind, you've got a you've got a Steinway, nice Steinway grand piano in front yep. of you. What kind of response are you getting? How is it in terms of naturalness and, and feel? It like, sounded like a piano. That's surprisingly hard to get right yeah um mm. and interestingly enough i put it up before the the tuner was there uh to tune the piano and, and you know there, there was one hammer that was slightly loose mm-hmm. and i heard it wow, <laughs> through okay. the pa that's interesting um i mean obviously the the piano tuner picked it up as well mm. and, and corrected it but yeah i think to get that level of detail is, is something that's probably not mm. something you'd find off every mic yeah i mean and Detail, you know, really does come through in everything about this, like right down to the box that it comes in. Yeah, look, you know, you know when the mic comes in a, a, a lovely dovetail mm. jointed um, case and it's beautifully varnished. It's got mm. these nice little gold fittings because mm. it just does. Um, <laughs> I don't think they're real gold. They're just kind no, of gold. No. But, uh, you know, nice logo embossing. It, it is really, as you say, it, there's an excellent level of attention to detail mm. with this product. You know? I think we're going to see this more. I mean, you really want to keep this in your pristine studio environment. I don't think this is getting used live as much, except maybe in the more orchestral situations where things are all a bit more genteel. Where everyone's uh, feeling a bit cavalier. Yeah, but but really now at this price point with this kind of quality, I can see people getting that Neu- having that opportunity to get the Neumann brand into their kit. Yeah, and I think look, if you look back at it over the years, the TLM series is probably something you know most studios have have one or two of in mm. the, in their in their stable, and I think this this is going to give the option to a few people, as you say, who didn't perhaps previously have it. Yeah, 